Well, our defending champion this week is Perth Australia's Minji Lee. Now Lee took the outright lead during the third round at Pine Needles, then ran away and hid from the field, posting 67, 66, 67, 71 to set a brand new US Women's Open record, 271 to win by four strokes over Nina Harrigay. Well, last year, Minji Lee won the US Women's Open. Paige McKenzie has her story of Lee's upbringing in Australia and how her relationship with Australian great Kari Webb to help her reach new heights at Pine Needles in North Carolina. The US Open is the pinnacle of our game. It tests you the most mentally. Like, how, do, like, how do people do this? Okay. Get it's always cool to make a putt on the last to win and just really know that, oh my God, I've won the US Open. Perth, on the west coast, that's where I grew up. If you think Australia is chill, it's like even chiller <laughs> because we're a really beachy community. My mom was a golf instructor. She started my brother and I both in golf. My sister, she's a bit like a robot. When we used to go to the practice range, she always did her own thing. She was a, a 60 hour a week kid. If she didn't get better, that would be a problem. But she just got better and better. Minji got a lot of limelight, won a lot of tournaments um, within Perth, a lot within Australia. When Minji Lee was 16, she traveled to the US for the 2012 US Girls Junior Championship. It was an opportunity to see how her game measured against girls from across the world. Minji Lee, the Aussie, wins the 64th U.S. Girls Junior Championship. You think there's going to be a few more of these USGA championships in your future? Definitely, yep. Uh, I'm coming. Did I say just I'm, I'm coming or something? Like, I'm coming. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm surprised that I have that much confidence at that Point in my life. I won amongst the best juniors in the world. I got back and I was like, man, this is what I want to do for the rest of my life. As she rose the junior ranks, Lee was noticed by Australia's greatest golfer, Kari Webb, who invited her to the 2013 US Women's Open for an up-close look of how she prepared for competition. Minji, she was picturing herself playing the US Open one day. We got to spend um, a week with her at the US Open when she was actually playing. She was such an inspiration to us all. That's sort of when I was like, I want to play the next US Open. Lee did just that and qualified for the US Women's Open at Pinehurst the next year. Then the number one amateur in the world. It was clear winning at the professional level was her next goal. In my first year, I won Kings Mill. It gave me a lot of confidence. The next six years, Lee won eight times, including her first major at the 2021 Evian Championship. Menji Lee with a comeback for the ages. She also represented Australia in two Olympic Games. But I really wanted to win the US Open. That trophy kind of meant something to me, I don't know, when I was younger. There was serendipity heading into the week. The last Australian woman to win the championship was Webb, coincidentally at the same course more than two decades earlier. She came into the US Open at Pine Needles with such good form. So as the tournament went on, she just got better and better. You know when you look at someone and they just look at you different? She had eyes of determination. After a first round 67 and second round 66, Lee teed off Saturday, tied for the lead. I played really well on the third day. To know where the ball's gonna go is such a great feeling. And Minji Lee's known for her consistency. She's hitting it longer than she ever has. Wow, nothing but the center. Shooting another four under par 67, the 26-year-old set the US Women's Open 54-hole scoring record at 13 under par. Three shot lead. Can you remember another time when you were kind of in this position? No, it's the US Open. It's the final round and the race is on. 
rolls in a long birdie putt. What a start. She came out with a big lead and said, I'm not going anywhere. Minji Lee looks really good right now. What a shot, what a result. I had full confidence in her finishing it off. That was the biggest time I was proud of her. What I loved and what I remember most, watching her be able to walk down the last knowing that she'd won the US Open. I was just really proud of her. Walking down that hole and um, walking towards the putting green, I was like, this is probably the coolest moment ever. You think there's going to be a few more of these USGA championships in your future? Definitely. I'm coming. Minji Lee wins the U.S. Women's Open at Pine Needles.